So about water, uh, in, uh, so if you look at water uh, and if you look at how water scarcity is spreading, uh, more than two-thirds of, you know, uh, of the world population, for example, is going to have a lot of scarcity problems. So that, that's significant amount of population. If you look at places like India, for example, where, you know, where water scarcity is now actually kind of popping up uh, and it's becoming very important, uh, again, developing, uh, you know, sc scalable techniques that can do significant amount of desalination, I think will become very important. And uh, and one thing certainly is thermal desalination, which works very much in very well in those areas because of high salinity of, of water. And uh, so again, developing uh, these new uh, coatings or new surface technologies that can again it significantly improve the performance of these desalination plants. I think is will uh, provide a pathway to to reduce the cost of water um, and bring it down to. I mean, our goal is to bring it down to something like you know less than 10 cents uh, per meter cubed, right? So that that then it can become affordable, especially in, in, you know in places like these, and uh, uh, and it could also be useful to to create these hybrid RO uh, and thermal systems, which can then allow for something that's called zero liquid discharge. Uh, therefore, you start with start start with seawater and end up with pellets of salt. Um, so, so I again cannot overemphasize how uh, you know water scarcity and water will become more precious than than anything else. Not next century, but but probably very soon in in the next uh, two or three two decades probably.